hello friends welcome back to my channel my name is Sharon for those meeting me for the first time and this is Jael Nations for Christ Ministries thank you for stopping by and if this is your first day <laughs> you're very much welcome thank you very much I am grateful that you are there listening to what the Lord would have us know today and um, in this place as God gives grace and utterance I come here daily um, to give words of encouragement, prophetic words and intercession at different times as the Lord would have me say. And um, I pray that as you've come, <laughs> you will receive your word, but please take it back to God in prayer and let him give you the final picture. We just speak in parts and hope that the Lord will say all that he has for you, specifically to you. Thank you very much for coming. And um, please, I would ask that you kindly subscribe. Help us reach one more soul for Christ. Help us send um, the word of God to somebody who is very much in need right now. The world has enough trouble as it is. And as God would have us do from this end, we need to reach one person to let him know that Christ cares. Jesus cares. And his love is more than enough to bring him out of that situation at any point in time kindly subscribe kindly tell your friends about this channel kindly like the content make your comments where necessary and let the lord bless the whole of us <laughs> thank you so much and for my returning subscribers you guys are amazing thank you so much i am grateful your girl is grateful <laughs> thank you um today the lord would have us um know something um that would keep us away from certain issues that is avoidable sometimes and um, not too avoidable too. <laughs> it's both ways. It can be avoided and sometimes it comes suddenly. Um, today, the Lord would have me speak to us about knowing your associates knowing the people around you being sensitive to the people around you in the sense that in this life we currently live it has been for for a very long time anyway but in this life we live you don't need to look too far to find your enemies if you really look closely <laughs> You don't need to look too far. Um, the Lord is giving me a word from the scriptures today and impressed in my heart to let that one person know that you should be mindful of your associates. Be sensitive to the people around you. Yes, that is what the Lord would have us know today. Of course, the blessings will come, but what use is the blessing when you are not alive to spend it, enjoy it, and live in it? <laughs> so today the Lord is opening our eyes to what some of us already know. And some of us, some of us already know and are applying it while some other persons know but don't care. Uh, but the Lord is letting me let you know today that you should care. You should be bothered. Even though he's not saying that you should be uh, weird, <laughs> you should begin to act weird around people, no. But as long as you have a relationship with God, I believe that at every given point in time, the Lord would point you to certain things that is not right around you. And maybe somebody the Lord has been speaking to you all this while about a certain person and you haven't paid much attention to it. So he's bringing me here today to tell you, be mindful of your associates. Be mindful. Be mindful. And for one person in particular, I'm sure we'll see this video. Um, it's almost very close to you right now. What that person is planning to do is very close to you. Maybe that's why you're saying this word. So that it can bring you back to reality that you don't joke with everything. In our world today, enemies get close to us 
oftentimes through people we know. <laughs> oftentimes, may not be all the time, but oftentimes, majority of the time, <laughs> the enemy will get to you from someone close to you. And the Lord gave me a scripture in the book of 2 Samuel 17. We all know the story of King David, Absalom, and Ahithophel. We know how Absalom chased his father out of the palace and assumed his seat. That's his son. But that is not where I'm headed right now. I'm looking at Ahithophel. Some of us, at some point in our lives, we have Ahithophels. Either they have manifested or they are waiting for opportunity to manifest. <laughs> Either way, some of us have some Ahithophels in our crowd. And to this one person I'm speaking to today, by the word of the Lord, an Ahithophel is around you. He may not have shown any sign. Even Judas didn't show sign to Jesus. <laughs> Even though Jesus knew by the way. But he didn't show physical sign to Jesus that he was plotting stuff. Neither did Ahithophel have the opportunity yet to show that he was plotting stuff. Or he will plot stuff if given the opportunity. Ahithophel was very close to King David. Very close. And he was one of his wisest counselors. The Bible recorded, and that Ahithophel, when he gives counsel, is as if the gods <laughs> have spoken because it will happen as he says. But unfortunately, in quotes for King David, <laughs> Ahithophel went with King David's son, who happens to be his enemy at the time, Absalom. We all know the story, but just for this person that the Lord would have me emphasize this situation just to give him a better picture of it. Because sometimes, not until we see it in the word of God, will some believe. And I pray that you take this really seriously as much as the Lord impressed it in my heart. Um, Ahitophel gave counsel to Absalom on how to catch David. Why? Because he knew David very well. He knew how to get David. He knew when to get David, King David. He knew what to do. And his counsel that he gave was right, very accurate, <laughs> on what and how they would get to King David, who had earlier fled his palace because of Absalom. But at some point, <laughs> Absalom requested for a second opinion. That is where your God comes in now. Your God is going to let your enemies make a mistake so as to protect you. The mistake Absalom made was to ask for a second opinion. And from my perspective, I believe that was God orchestrating things on the background just so that Ahithophel's counsel will not be taken. He asked for a second opinion from somebody who happens to be on King David's side. <laughs> you see how God works? God can protect you. But right now, he's letting that one person know that look closely. Open your eyes, look closely. And Ahithophel is waiting for an opportunity. Don't let him. Don't let him. Don't let him. Some people are lucky to have God on their side. <laughs> Will I use the word lucky now? Some people are blessed to have God fight for them on the background. I don't know about you yet. I pray you have. I pray you have God on your side. Just so that your contra the contractors of your Ahithophel <laughs> will not get to Ahithophel to get to you faster than you can ever imagine. King David would have been caught cheaply if Ahithophel's counsel was taken. 
But the Lord made Absalom get a second opinion. And the second opinion was what saved David, King David. Because the person who gave the counsel was on David's side. And as the Bible recorded, he gave a wrong counsel to Absalom. He countered the counsel of Ahitophel. And eventually, his own counsel was taken. Ahitophel's own was rejected, which led to Ahitophel killing himself. Our God is reminding us today, be careful of your associates. Be careful of them. Is it that they are plotting on how to get you down or they are waiting for the opportunity? That is why you have to be close to God at all times so that he will not leave you to the will of your enemies. Today I pray you get your word. I pray you receive it. And I ask by the mercies of God that you be sensitive. In the mighty name of Jesus. And for whosoever that has lost stuff, lost opportunities, lost things, or are about to lose their life to a close associate they called friends, they called family, may the Lord have mercy even now and restore you back to your position. King David lost his seat at that point, but we all know that eventually he got his throne back. He got back to his palace. May the Lord fight our unseen battles. And may the Lord reveal to us them that are around us that shouldn't be around us. May the Lord open our eyes to things that we ought to know and give us the boldness, the grace to take the right step at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever has been stolen, denied you, diverted by whoever before now, I call for a hundredfold restoration back to you now in the name of Jesus. And I decree, as Ahitophel hung himself because his counsel was rejected, may your enemies be frustrated through and through at all times in the name of Jesus. I pray that the angels of the Lord will continually surround you to protect you, defend you, and keep you in the way that you should go. That at the end of the day, your life will give God glory in the mighty name of Jesus. My friends, this is all I have for you today. This is all the Lord impressed in my heart to speak to that one person. May you not fall into the snares of your close associates. May you not fall into the snare of your close associates the lord who has sent this word he said he sent his word to deliver them from destruction this word has come today and i pray that it delivers you from any impending destruction in jesus mighty name thank you for watching my channel again today do well to subscribe stay with us and let the lord help us at all times Thank you very much. Have a blessed day and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.